documenting, uh, may, uh, to contributing to professional meetings, medical legal purposes, and to teach and to learn. For me, to learn is the most important things. To become a better surgeon and to have a self-analysis and refinement of this technique. Tip number one, invest in a recording system a good recording system from day one of your practice. يعني أصرف فلوسك على good recording system من أول يوم of your practice. Tip number two, the ingredients required for a great video, the right technique and the right equipment. طيب, thank you. الكاميرات الموجودة, traditionally camera, which is our using, هي CCD camera. الكاميرات الموجودة على الميكروسكوب اللي هي يسموها CCD camera. اللي هي attached on a C-mount adapter and lens. المشكلة بهاي الكاميرات إنه sensor size, يعني مقدار التصوير. Sensor size هو third inch or half inch. It may be single chip or three chip. The options اللي available now, ممكن we have mobile attached to a camera. Maybe we have a system built in camera system like in Leica, or you build your own system through what we call a DSLR, or you will have the 3D visualization system of Ingenuity. You have to build your own ultra high definition surgical video system, the 4K system. Why we have to uh, record in a high quality because of this. Before, we have to good, uh, take a good pictures through uh, recording in a high quality. The options that we have, which are the best cameras available, Sony, which is about 15,000 dollars, or the Eki Jami, which is Japanese, which is about 20,000 dollars. This is the camera, which is the microscope, which is the 4K. ها ها على السيستم اوكي هاي سعرها غالي هاي يعني هاي سعرها 15000 وهاي سعرها 20000 فهل تتوقع انه يعني هذا المبلغ بسيط يعني مقابل البرايس فيرسس بيرفورمانس يعني انت تدفع هيك مبلغ بصراحه اي بيلد ماي اون سيستم اللي هو كوست مي جاست 2300 دولار اللي هو 13% من القيمه مالت الكوست وتصور فيديوهات in a ultra high definition or maybe even in 4K. Things we need to start, we have to know that we need a beam splitter. This is called a beam splitter. So, so the beam splitter, هذا اللي راح يقسم لك اللايت اللي يجي لك من الميكروسكوب. أكو أنواع من البيم سبليتر لازم تعرف. أكو 50-50. يعني شنو؟ يعني 50% من اللايت يروح لك و 50% من اللايت يروح على الطرف الثاني. أكو 80-20 اللي هو 80% للجراح و 20% يروح للتصوير. ف you have to take a good beam splitter. هذا يسمونه ال DS R-L-R tube D-S-L-R tube هذا هذا يجي ويا زايس يعني مايكروسكوبات زايس تجيب هذا التيوب اللي هو D-S-L-R adapter إذا عندنا مايكروسكوب بيم سبليتر D-S-L-R أوكي adapter والكاميرا so these things that we need خلنا نأخذهم واحد باي واحد D-S-L-R adapter هذا قلنا يجي ويا زايس تقريبا زايس ما تبيع بوحده يعني او ممكن تطلبه من زايس او ممكن تطلبه من امازون يكلف تقريبا انا اشتريته ب 750 دولار تمام بس ممكن تلاقيه ب 1500 حسب الموقع ممكن يكون افيلبل ويا المايكروسكوب اللي يجي عندك اذا دورت بالقطع الاضافيه راح تلاقيه موجود دي اس ال ار ادابتر زين الكاميرا هل ممكن اربط الكاميرا مالتي بدون الدي اس ال يعني على الكاميرا القديمه اللي احنا مو قلنا المايكروسكوبات الزايس تجي بيها كاميرا It's have on camera, C mount camera. They call it. Hal, mungkin arbot al camera al full frame size. Ala hada we cannot record. Lian nohul focal length yختلف mat al camera. So we cannot connect al camera ala C mount. Lazim arbotha ala DSL. Yeah, lazim arbot al camera ala hada DSL or adapter. So 
This is the DSLR adapter. The focal length of it, you have to be sure that it's 340. مكتوب عليه فوكال لينس 340 This is the same focal length of the camera الكانون اوكي okay. لازم يكون ماتشنج ال... لانه هذا الفوكال لينث هو نفس اللي ماتش السنسر سايز اوف ذا كاميرا شنو هو السنسر سايز اللي هو هذا هذا السنسر سايز This is the sensor size انت لازم تاخذ انت تاكد الكاميرا مالتك تكون فول فريم اوكي okay. اسمها اي ماونت فول فريم سنسر سايز كاميرا فهذه تربط على الدي اس ال ار ادابتر اللي هو الفوكال لينث مالته 340 زين بعد شنو نحتاج؟ نحتاج شيء اسمه تي 2 ادابتر وي نيد سمثينج از كولد تي 2 ادابترز ذيس تي 2 ادابترز از تو كونكت ذا دي اس ال ار ادابتر ذيس وان تو ذا كاميرا ذيس ادابتر از تشينجينج فروم ذا دي اس ال ار So the camera is mounted on it. So this is called T2 adapter. These adapters are uh, manufactured by a company called Photodynex. This is a high company. Okay. The price of this Photodiox is about $20. Okay. Uh, this What's happened if we connect the camera to the C-mount camera? I mean, if the camera is on the C-mount, it will give us this factor. It will give us vignetting of the pictures. It will show the picture as if it's connected to each other. Why? Because we said the focal length and the sensor size will not fit the adapter. So if I put my camera, the Sony camera, on the amount of camera, it will not give me. But if I put my camera on this DSLR adapters that's matching the same focal length, we will have the full HD or 4K camera. Mwasafat al camera, it is Sony Alpha 7, it is excellent image quality. Sarha $2,300. It's a very good low light sensitivity. We can record in a 4K. We can take an uh, output HDMI. Or 4K even, and the means of it, you know, you can record internally. Either you record internally through the memory card, or you record record externally through a recording device. Highest setting that we use from this camera, and we can take it to extra to HDMI TV. Ayub the camera, you know, it works on battery life, so it has to be you have uh, too much battery with you with rechargeable battery. Well, the problem is that it is a flimsy micro HDMI port. I mean, this port that connects HDMI to the screen is very small. So this, with the use, may be broken. Very small. They call it micro HDMI. Micro HDMI. So, in cases that you have another microscope, like Leica, Hackstrip, Topcon. Lazim, you bring the DSLR adapters of these microscopes. We can not use the Zeiss adapters to this microscope. So we have to search about the uh, proper DSLR adapter. Zip. Now we build our system. We build our system. This is called a DSLR system to record. We're going to we have a beam simulator, the DSLR adapters, T2 adapters, and the camera. What will ensure a great image quality? Yani, and, uh, how I ensure that I have a great image quality? We have to be clear. We have to be sharp. And we have to be centered. This is three characteristic features of the video. Clear, sharp, centered. So the most important, we have to be focused. Focus on the area that we record. Yani in this footage or in this example, everything is good, but I am focused out. Or maybe you know, you do a surgery, very nice surgery, but you cannot. Yani لقطة ما تكملت جيب سيكل صحيح. Why? Because you lose the focus. So this is very important. Number two, this is decentered. Everything is good, but I'm not centered. The globe is decentered. So for that reason, you will lose also some details, despite 
انه انت از سيرجن يو كان سي ثرو ذا بريفري اوف ذا مايكروسكوب يعني انت از سيرجن يو كان سي من المايكروسكوب يو كان سي ثرو ذا بريفري بات ان ذا ريكوردينج سيستم ذا سنسر فريم ذا ايمج ويل بي اوت سايد ذا ريكوردينج سو يو هاف تو تيك كير ذا ثيرد ثينكس ذا كومبوزيشنز وات اي مين باي كومبوزيشن يو هاف تو ستريس اون وات يو وونت تو ريكورد يعني لازم انت تكون عندك ال Like in this video, I want to record the behavior of a nucleus through emulsifications. So, so I so I make I make zoom on these things. Okay. However, in like in this, but avoid too much compositions. Like in this video, everything is good, but too much noisy in this appearance. That the eye drape, the speculum, the everything. So be focused on the area that you want to record. Like in this video, I want to record the capsulorexis. So look how I focus here. The focus, you can take it either by microscope, the microscope go uh, and make a, a zoom, or even you can uh, make it while you edit the video through cropping uh, and make zoom on the video, like in this one. So I want to know the behavior of the nucleus while emulsifications. I make a zoom. However, in this video, I want to uh, stress on the movement of the nucleus. And this is again, I want to show the rexes how it's become. So either, as I said, either in the group, you can make a group to make a zoom on this appearance. But avoid too much zooming, like in this video. Too much zooming will lose the contrast, will lose the, uh, the pictures and uh, the d details of the movie. So avoid too much uh, zooming. The other thing, this is a very important. Keep the camera rolling. You don't know which time the complication will happen. You don't know what events will happen during the surgery. So keep the camera is rolling from the start of the surgery. Like in this video, this is a PCR rent. During IA, this is a PCR rent. So always make the camera is ready to uh, capturing. This is drop of a nucleus. And this is the famous Argentine flag. Uh, as we said, we have to get the same DSLR adapter for your camera because here the focal length is different. And there is a common misconception. They say it, camera alone is responsible for a great image. No, this is not right because we have to remember, even if you bring this camera, which costs $20,000, or you bring this camera, however, we have some we call the glass, the optical glass of the microscope. It's still the main gold standard for recording, the optical, the glass uh, of the microscope. Like in this video, whatever you have, you will have this result, foggy video. Why? because you have a poor glass. So the optical quality of the glass matter is the most important things for recording. And uh, I will uh, wish to you a happy shooting. Thank you very much. Am I set? Sorry? Yes, I, I built this system. I, as, I, as I showed you, I built this system. Uh, when I review back all the available systems that I have and go back to the references and contact see, see. some uh, quality pictures, okay? So uh, I built this system alone. I don't need to contact. Why? Because you already have the microscope. You have this DSLR adapters. Okay, because through this one, you can connect the camera. Through this one, you can connect the uh, assisted microscope. So it's, you have this one. And I just bring the T2 adapter because I cannot fix the camera on the DSLR adapter. So I search which camera E mount on the DSLR system. So I have this system. Oh, this system, the T2 adapter, this one is cost $20. The camera cost $2,300. This adapter is already with the microscope. And I have the microscope already with a beam splitter. So this is cost me only 2,300. 2,300.
Yes, also I bring a monitor, of course, two hundred dollars. It's a four K monitor connected in the microscope. So now this cable, this my camera, I record internally. Then I take a picture from it to the monitor in the in the screen, and me, the assistant, the the fellow will uh, uh, will see through the, this TV. Okay. So I have a recording system which is uh, 4K imaging, but in a low cost. And instead of uh, putting $20,000 or $15,000, I have this great image. Yeah. Yes, the recording system, I talked it in before, uh, the recording system of Zeiss, we called it the C-mount camera. It's a poor quality. Either you single chip or three chip. It's a poor, a poor. Uh, the, the recording quality of the video. It's poor. Not like that we have in the DSLR adapters. As you, sh if you see the video quality, if you can take it in a 4K or full HD or ultra high HD. Okay. So the recording system that you adopt through the DSLR adapter is a very much better than the camera that attached to Zeiss. If you want to take a new, a new adapters, that that's what we have. Uh, I showed here. This is, now Now I am using this system, okay, which is built in through Leica, this systems. Before I was using this one, a DSLR adapters that I buy it, but this one, it's the same quality. And in sometimes I see the picture that I get through the DSLR camera is much more better than the Leica system. Because here it's in a 4K, I can record it. This one cannot give you a 4K, okay? So even uh, the DSLR adapter can help you in the recording for a posterior segment. Even in a posterior segment. Is that because you want to If you have a PM splitter, you can use uh, the one side of PM splitter for assistant microscope and the other side of PM splitter for the DSLR camera. You can so keep the assistant microscope as it. You uh, we need to switch the uh, assistant microscope on one side you to the other. You will not have this availability if you use the DSLR on the other side and the assistant microscope on the other side, so it will be fixed like this. Yeah, you, you cannot be able to switch you cannot move this it. to this. So it will be fixed. But by far, DSLR camera have a better quality. But sure. you, you need to know the connections. You need to know the software editing of this camera mm -hmm. because you may put all this thing and you, you face that uh, the image is not perfect. Yeah. Because there is another setting in DSLR camera. You need to play with them. The gain of the image, the contrast, everything like this. We need to con to adapt this uh, uh, software or this uh, tools to be to reach for the perfect image. Yeah. But if you reach, it will be the perfect. Perfect. Yeah. No. Absolutely. The perfect uh, tool for uh, DSLR. No doubt. For recording, by the way. No so uh, just I will go back to how I uh, uh, build up these systems uh, again. Uh, this system cost me only $2,300. That means 13% uh, less than the cost of their uh, good quality system that the option we have like Sony and the Ikigami camera because this only cost $2,300. What is the system co uh, consist of? The system that thinks we need a beam splitter, a DSLR adapter, T2 adapters for the camera, and the camera that Sony that I buy. I will explain that. This is the microscope that we have. It's a Zeiss. Already the microscope should come with the beam splitter. The beam splitter, two types of beam splitter we oh, have. Either stop, Mohammed. If you have a beam splitter 2080 or beam splitter 5050, make it 2080, not 5050. Because we, in, in the, the bus way of the light to the DCLR, it's much better to uh, with the lower bus way of the light, not a, a higher uh, light intensity. So in DCLR, if you have a 50-50, make it 80-20, not 50-50. You don't need the 50-50. And don't, don't uh, uh, decrease the amount of light coming for the main tube. Make it to the 50-80, 20. 
Yes. So, uh, and also the camera is very sensitive to the light, Muhammad. Yeah, it's very sensitive to light. Whatever you have, it will give you a great image. Again, this is the microscope. This is the beam sibilator. This is what I call the DSLR adapter. It's come with the microscopes. Zeiss does not uh, sell these uh, things, but you can order it through Amazon. This one costs you about $1,700, uh, sorry. This one is $700 only. This is called the T2 adapters that will connect the DSLR adapter to the camera. So this is your system. As I showed you, it will consist, uh, as I showed you this one, it will cost you only $2,300. And the image quality that you take is a much more better than other system that you have. So this system is called the DSLR system, which consists from these four things as I shown. It will have a very great image. You can record in a 4K and uh, you can uh, take an exit from this camera to a monitor in the, in the screen, in the theater, in a 4K and you can record internally from this camera. The pictures, the movie that we have, like I show here, it's have like this one. This is the result of the camera. It's uh, recording in a very high frame and 4K and you can see all the details Muhammad that you and, uh, need. How uh, you record directly on the DSLR or you have a recording system? No, DSLR. Directly on the Direct. DSLR. Yeah. So uh, this is a point also. If you have a DSLR, you need to have flash memory inside the DSLR with a high capacity because this, this the file is high volume file. But if you don't need this issue, you can connect the DSLR directly from HDMI out to a re separate recording system. So you can take all this video to a separate recording system and your computer to, so you can record it directly on the computer. And the best way of removing the flash memory from the camera to the computer and uploading this video, it's uh, it's finished. So you can. Yes, it's a, it's a built-in camera. So, the, this camera can be connected to uh, to the Zeiss system where you can do the. Any microscope have a beam any, any microscope, you have to take the uh, proper adapters. Like if you have a Leica microscope, if you have a Hatch Strike microscope, it's have own DSLR tube, okay? You connect it through it. So you can put your camera through this system. Uh, and you take, and um, uh, you will enjoy the, the, the beauty of this picture that you have in a 4K. And the problem is also uh, the file size that you get from the DSLR system is too much more bigger than the other systems. Yeah, and the video one, the one video of uh, a routine FACO for eight minutes or 10 minutes, it's about 13 gigabytes. So this is one drawback. You will have to uh, so many hard uh, with you in order to record all these uh, big size movie. Why? Because it's record you in a very high quality in a 4K. So uh, this was the aim of my presentation is to uh, record in a low or cheapest one to record because other system will cost too much money. So this is the best one and everyone can buy this camera. It does not cost too much. You will have a great system and this is my tip uh, one from the first day that you have to invest in a good recording system from day one of your practice and keep the camera rolling from the start of the surgery. You don't know which time the complication will happen, so you have to record it from early part of the surgery. So I finished my presentations. Yes. Now we will move to Mohammed. He will talk about. Uh, no, no, uh, uh, So before I am going for the editing, and I will do uh, in this presentation live editing videos. So I will take one of my surgeries, and I will edit it ed uh, directly now to see how I'm thinking about editing. And you need to thinking about editing as the anterior segment surgeons or as the posterior segment surgeons. It didn't differ whatever you are a posterior segment surgeons or anterior segment surgeon. But I have a couple of notes before we're going for editing. I need to show it. Can you show the screen, please?
this, yes, yes, we need this one. So any of uh, one in the floor try to record or capture an image from the slit lamp direct on iPhone without adapter? Anyone try to use it? Okay. Uh, uh, let's give you some taps and the tracks to get a perfect image from directly from your iPhone or mobile without adapter from the slit lamp. I think all of us have this type of telephone of which has a at least three camera, and some mobile now have a four camera and five camera behind this one. So what is the difference between all these cameras? There is a main camera and this is a subsidiary camera. So when you decided to go with this technique, <laughs> capture with the main camera, don't capture with the uh, subsidiary camera. And the uh, iPhone, the upper right to upper left one is a main camera. So don't use the other two cameras, okay? Because this is the highest camera. If you have iPhone 14 plus, you see the, uh, the Apple marketing that this is a 48 megapixel camera. So you, this is the one, is the only camera have a 48 megapixel camera. And also when you go to the setting, when you go to the setting and you go with the camera, activate a ProRes and draw uh, activation to get the highest quality image. If you need a highest quality image with 48 camera, uh, for, uh, 48 uh, megapixel. So this is a, a um, when you go for the camera, open the camera setting, and this is the the the, the format of the uh, setting, and you just go for the image, and record with uh, and apply the ProRes and draw, so it's recorded with a, 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 a 48 megapixel, and also another thing. When you decide to record, you need to know this is device is a recording device and a viewing device. This is a recording device and a viewing device and camera. All of this in your telephone. So this is a camera and the screen is a viewing and this mobile is record. So if you have this device, you can use all the tools of recording. How can we use this? When I re repeat the, the video, see how I'm putting my finger to refocusing on the image. This is the viewing system of the mobile so you can see. And when I am focusing, this is called dynamic range. Anyone in the floor try to make a capture for me? And do you see that the, this exposure of the light is focusing on me? And when, I, when you're capturing me, you will take a perfect image. But if you have a higher exposure of the light over me, you just press on the area of overexposure, the mobile is automatically doing like dynamic range and decrease the intensity of light over my face and take you that the pictures, it will be clear. In the slit lamp, if you are making the light is much more exposed and you going with the light to maximum, you will not able to reach for this. So the tips here, when you capture with the phone, please make the light at a low intensity, okay? And when we go for the capture and see a high exposure, just by your finger, press on the area of highest exposure to make it automatically doing the, the dynamic range and decreasing the intensity of this light. So, if you, if you try to capture with iPhone, you need to hold it with your two fingers, the two hands, not one hand. Because if you hold it with one hand, you will not be able to use this. So you need to support your elbows, both elbows. When you go for the slate lamp, support both elbows to have a free two fingers to go for this option. So if you capture directly with the height of light, Number two, decrease the light. Number two, decrease the light of the slit lamp. Number three, make a little bit decentration of the light with the slit lamp. Not go directly coaxial because in a direct coaxial there is a high reflectivity of the light coming from this pathology. Make it lightly co coaxial. If you capture a gross 
anterior segment uh, uh, pathology, you can use a diffuser from the slit lamp. If you have a slit lamp with a diffuser, it just decreases the light reflectivity from the corneal pathology. This is all thing has happened. The second one is editing. The second one is editing. When you see this image, I capture it like this. You will, we will not reach for the final perfect image. You need to try and you will need to learn yourself how to edit this image in your mobile. That's it. No in other uh, system. Just go for this image and editing it to reach for this one. Group the image and increase the contrast, decrease the contrast. Try to play with the edit. Try to play every single image. Try to play to reach for the highest quality image. But we have last step for this one, when you capture the image with the phone on the, on the eyepiece, don't use the highest magnification by the mobile or the highest magnification by the slit lamp. Because if you increase the magnification, you will decrease the pixel or decrease the focus. So to capture the image with the lowest magnification of the mobile and lowest magnification of a slit lamp. And then when you edit, you can crop. And after crewing, the image will be clear. Don't use the highest magnification. Don't forget the camera that you are capturing. And in the slit lamp, we have a two eyepiece. Try to go for the eyepiece, which is directly going to the pathology. So if you go for the right eyepiece and you see the pathology is not clear or not central, go with the mobile to the other eyepiece, it will be clear, according to the decentration of the, eye, of the eyepiece to the pathology. I will, uh, bypassing the technical issues of the recording, and need to, uh, to see this circle. This circle is a critical circle in the editing when you need to play the editing or to record your surgical uh, steps. Any surgical steps, any new surgical step, you go for this circle. First, you go unconscious, incompetent. You don't know anything, and you're not able to do anything. When you learn more, you will be conscious and incompetent. And when you work more and more, work more and more, you will be conscious, competent in this surgical step. And when you will have a great experience in the surgery, you work unconscious, competent. You just play it like this. But if you need to move more, and we need to have more skills. You need to play the surgery unconscious, competent, recorded, oriented. So I need to advise everyone, when you need to focus in the recording, when you need to focus in the recording, record the surgical step or the surgical uh, case that you are playing unconscious, competent, to have a space in your brain to concentrate in recording. Don't concentrate in recording while you are still learning how to do the rexes, while you are still learning how to remove the ILM. This is a critical point. Don't concentrate on the recording while you are still learning. It will be difficult. But if you're doing the rexes like this, unconsciously competent, fixing on the recording, and it will be great. Another, uh, uh, the point is important here, when you have a recording system, and the camera, and you buy even $10,000, $20,000, and you don't know this step, you will not go for a perfect image. If you have a screen or, or, or in your operative room, and you, you, see, you put the screen like in the right side behind your uh, face, and in the left side in front of you, this is wrong and this is right. And why this point? That's why I said to you, you need to be focused in recording. While I record in the camera mounted on the microscope, how can I see what I'm recording? You have a thinking that what you are seeing inside the microscope is that typically that is that's exported in the camera, and this is not right. So you need to have a viewing system, what's called viewing system. We have a camera, and we have a recording system, and we have a system called the viewing system. The viewing system that will show how the camera capturing this image. So you need to re, re, um, refocusing on the viewing system. It's right that I am in field, or it's right that I am focusing, or it's right that I am out of field, or it's, uh, I am out of focus. If this viewing system is behind you, you are not able to do this. If this viewing system in front of you, you can do it this. And this viewing system must be better viewing system, larger screen with high quality, to to give you availability to, to follow your surgical step clearly. 
don't go with a small TV away from your microscope and you need to follow what the surgery is going on as perfect in the focusing or not. Another tips in recording, it's dependent on whatever you are anterior segment surgeons or a posterior segment surgeon. If you are a glaucoma surgeon like Dr. Tore, and we now play on the sclera. The sclera is a white tissue or a not white tissue. It's highly refractive tissue or a low refractive tissue. We need to study what is the pathology and what is the type of tissue you record. And if you are not recorded oriented, you will play the surgery as if you are working with your eyepiece and the finish and you're thinking that what you are doing, it will be perfect with the high quality system. You're already going surgery with the Lumera 700, Callisto, uh, every, everything is perfect. But you are working on the sclera with high exposure of the light of the microscope. You increase the amount of light of your microscope and your, the, the system of the camera, you increase the gain of the system of the camera and you will finish up with a highly refractive tissue. See what I'm doing in this step. This is a, the disc is highly reflected now and this appearance part here, I decrease the amount of gain from the camera down there. So the blood visits of the disc and the hyper reflectivity of the disc is decreased. So you need to, to thinking about this. If you are going with a tresium, working in the tresium, and the tresium is a little bit uh, 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 tissue is large tissue and you are focusing on the tresium, increasing the amount of light of the microscope. I will give you some tips. When you are starting working in any surgery in the microscope, please main light of the microscope don't, don't exceed 50%. Main light of the microscope don't exceed 50%. Whatever the type of surgery, whatever the type of surgery, don't exceed 50%, maximum. Uh, for me, I, I don't proceed 20%, maximum 20%. I don't need more than this. Red reflex, you can exceed it up to 20, up to 90, up to 10%. But main light of the microscope, don't exceed it maximum 20 or for you, 50%. If you go with 100% main light and 100% red reflex, you will face this problem. For the retina surgeons, for the retina surgeons, the light of the uh, uh, vitrectomy machine don't exceed 50 percent. The light of uh, the, uh, the amount of exposure of the camera and the gain of the camera make it at lowest, lowest parameter. So and also follow your pathology because if you have a dim pathology and do you need to increase the exposure or increasing the light, don't increase the light of microscope make, uh, of the constellation or whatever the machine. Increase the amount of the exposure or brightness of your camera system. This is another tip. And also what's called exposure, I give you some example. This is the camera of 3CC, $20,000 with a recording system, perfect. But what you are seeing now, it's not a perfect viewing, it's not a perfect videos because we have now high exposure videos. This is a pathology with a fibrovascular membrane, high exposure. I didn't thinking about recording in this case and all of the thing is being highly exposure. By the way, this can, Video is recorded by a, a Lumera 700 Callisto microscope. The best for surgery, the best for everything. And when you're paying a microscope and you said that I have a Lumera 700 Callisto microscope, you're thinking that you can go with a perfect image and perfect video. But this is what I'm, because I'm not thinking about the amount of light that I'm working with. I'm not thinking about the parameter of the camera for the exposure for the gear. And this is a perfect example for this. Anyone on the floor can see the blood vessels of the disc? Never. You see like a, uh, a rounded area without any details. And we just see the blood. Never see any pathology. And you will see how, when I realize that I am in a high exposure videos and decrease the gain of the camera, see the blood vessels of the, of the disc appear now. So you can go and see the more details, you see? Now I, you see the blood, the vessels, and you see how I'm working. You can magnify the image, by the way, because if you have a high exposure, you, when you magnify the image, it will be with a low pixel. So don't go with the uh, high exposure video because you need to increase the field of view and you will lose the pixelity or you lose the, the contrast of the image. This is what you need to learn. If you have 
no space here to focus on the recording. When you are when doing the surgery, it will never happen. So try to adapt yourself to work in this point while you are working the steps you are confident with. You are now doing the ILM like this. Believe me, if you are doing this type of membrane, for many of surgeons, it's a simple surgery. But if I will not doing what I'm doing, the, the end results were not perfect. Again, you have a, a perfect two is a tip so here. If you are working in a microscope, any type of surgery, you know, don't you know, you, you need to know that the microscope have a depth of focus, so you can do a rexis, and you also can see the posterior capsule or even the cornea. You can working with the epithelium, and also you can see the anterior capsule. But in the camera, there is a line of focus, no depth of focus in the camera. So I am when I'm working in this case, and by the way, I'm so satisfying that I am succeeding to attack this membrane with the vitrectomy probe. And when I finish the surgery, wow, this is the video today that I can publish. It's perfect video. And I see that all the step is out of focus. And this is the, the, the need of visualization system which we need to be in front of you. The visualization system need to be in front of you. The biggest screen need to be in front of you because to show that's where are you in focus or out focus? Because you, you are, when I'm working, you see that you are perfectly focused, but in the viewing system, you are not out of focus. Focus on the screen. Don't focus on the microscope. Because if you are focusing in the screen, it's 100% focus in the microscope. But if you are focusing in microscope, this is not meaning that you are focusing in the microscope. And this is the, the importance of viewing system. If you are it, getting it closer, bigger viewing system, it helps you to take this decision. And this is what I'm learning. In another case, I'm now attacking the, the, the membrane. And also, I, I give you some tips in the vitrectomy surgery. What I'm doing behind this step, before this step, don't concentrate on the viewing system. Now we are starting surgery. Now we are starting attacking the membrane. Take a break and see the viewing system and refocusing on the membrane. When you are working with a macular hole surgery, what I'm doing behind the attacking of ILM, don't concentrate. When just attacking the ILM, be focused and concentrate on the focusing and see the viewing system if the ILM is focusing now or then. And this is not happening. Oh, another, another issue. And we are seeing yesterday in live surgery. We are seeing yesterday in live surgery. A beautiful viewing system, a beautiful surgery, and we have this four light reflecting. This is the light in the room that you are working. Don't do a surgery and you are making the light on. If you are able to do this, okay, but the recording system and the recording videos will be like this. Have a thinking of uh, uh, editors. Have a thinking of editors and you are now the, the editors and the cameraman and uh, produce everything. So you need to take all this in concentration while you are doing the ILM, make it like this. So if the light is on in the surgery room, you will face with this. You have a beautiful surgery and not uh, perfect. The last thing is the field. Any microscope, whatever the camera you buy, you buy every, any microscope, you have a smaller field than you you are working on. The camera have a smaller field that I'm working on. So, and this also surgery, I'm working on the membrane and all the membrane is decentered down because I am not realized that when I start working in this area of the retina, it's out of field. But in microscope, I'm seeing it very well. This is, will be the rule. This is the final. How can I get this perfect viewing system in the retina? I'm working as a retina surgeon. And you see, this is a beautiful image, right? What is the tip rather than what I'm saying? For the gain of the camera, for the light of the machine, for the aim focus, for the out focus, for the aim feed, for the out feed. What is another trick here to make this light, this image is perfect? Lighting system. We are clothing the light of this room, and I will give you the 14 Pro Max iPhone, and I tell you, please make a capture for me. Is the capture will be clear? No. 
because we don't have a light system. And he is promoting that the new camera system can working on the dim light, can working, can working, can working. But believe me, if you have a perfect lighting system and a middle a range of the mobile, you can give me a perfect image. What's the meaning of lighting system? If you are staying behind me now and you're capturing me the image and this light is behind me, the image will be not clear. But the revise, if you are staying in front of me and the, cam and the lighting system is facing me, it will be a perfect image. What I'm doing at the veteran retinal surgeons, we are working in a dark room, definitely totally dark room. So the major tools in the perfect recording videos is the lighting system. You can pay a perfect vitrectomy machine, but the lighting system of this vitrectomy machine is uh, uh, very bad. And also we have a moderate vitrectomy machine, but the lighting system is perfect, the lighting system. So you can use the chandelier for a one purpose rather than working by manual, just for recording. You can use the chandelier just for recording. What's what doing? What is the chandelier doing? It gives you a gross lighting for this room, a gross lighting for this room. So we can put the chandelier just for recording. In this case, the lighting, the viewing perfect, that's appearing with the chandelier, that's it. I am putting the chandelier in this case in the purpose of getting a perfect video. That's it, not by working by manual. Because in the chandelier, it gives you a gross brightness. In a probe of light, you have a focal lightning. So the field of illumination will be small, okay? This man is called Watchman. When you are starting what I'm saying to you, when I'm starting what I'm saying to you, it's a really difficult issue. It's being like easy, but it's really difficult issue. What I'm doing, I bring this man, and I just job of this man is staying in the operating room and tell me, Dr. Taufi, you are out of focus, you are in focus. Dr. Taufi, you are in feed, you are out of feed. And we called him, yes sir, X, Y. He is, um, he is uh, nominated in the hospital as Yasser XY. He is what I'm doing. Just open the door, XY doctor. Just open the door, XY doctor. That's it. This is the main job of this person. So you can pay it and investing in this person, by the way, because he is uh, responsible for what you are exporting and what you are getting at, at the end of the surgery. He just tell you you are in focus or out of focus, in feed, out of feed. And also have another job. When you are finishing the surgery, and take it, what you are doing for this surgery. He is doing a lot of job after that. Like, I will starting to do a live editing of the videos. When I was a mirroring, I'm a I was a khalaa mirroring. Oh, Dr. Ahmed Bia, my gosh, I'm asif about this. I'm in the mirroring. Excuse me, can you Jaro? Can you make a mirror? Uh, we need to take a mirror image from the screen. Open? Yeah. It's not presentation, movie. But it's program. okay, make a screen. Uh, yeah. All the screen need to... No play, no, 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 no movie. I want to mirror my screen on the screen here. I had the laptop to add more things. Do you want to play a movie? I want to extend this one and this page. Yeah. No. Extend it, yes. No, extend it. I want to show this one on the screen. No, no, no. No, no. Just, just. What you display and the extended mode. Yeah. Where's Muhammad?
Let's go see. Rob, any one who does it. Okay, this, I, I will start with uh, a macular hole surgery. And I think this surgery, you take it from Yasser, Halos, and we have like uh, one hour, one hour surgery. And we have like one hour surgery. Before you're thinking for editing, and you start to think for editing, why you edit and what you edit. This is the, the job of the editor. This is the job of the editor. When you are recording the film, and this is the job of the editor, he catch this film, uh, if this uh, frame, and delete this frame. He catch this frame and delete this frame. And also, this is what we are doing when we edit a film for the cinema and edit the film for the television. So the editing of the film for the cinema have another way, and editing the film for the cinema have another way. So if you have this film, it's one hour, macular hole surgery. What is the purpose of the editing? Because you need to ask yourself, what is the purpose of the editing before you start editing? Because according to the target of the editing, you would well edit. What is the purpose, Dr. Salam? When you decide to edit, what is the target of editing? At first, you can educate from this video. Second, you can publish this video. Third, you can marketing. Use this video as the marketing tools for you by meaning of showing what you are doing. Learning what you are doing is different than showing what you are doing. So this is a totally different target for the editing because if you are learning what you are doing, it's a totally different editing. And if you are showing what you are doing, is a totally different image. So. If you have this image, this uh, video, and I will take it directly, directly, I will take it directly to the editing system, going now for the iMovie. So I have like one hour video. What we are doing is showing editing, marketing editing. Now I'm edited the video as a showing edited editing video and marketing edited video. So it's a macular surgery. I didn't need to show you how I'm searching the choker. You didn't need to show you how I'm doing kinocort injection. I didn't need to see you how I'm ducting the posterior hyaloid. I didn't need to see you how I'm injecting the three pump blue. And I didn't need to see you how I'm doing the brush, how I'm doing indentation, how I'm closing the glue. I just need to show you how I'm attacking the membrane, the ILM. So I will go directly, directly like this, directly like this, like this, like this. It's all this stuff is not important. All this stuff is not important. All this just by scrolling, just by scrolling, just by scrolling, and we will go for. Just it. This is the first image. Command P and remove what's behind. I finish, I finish, I finish. No. Oh, the Aston video is not made for ILM, Assassin. Assassin. Maalish, Shabash. The video is not made for ILM, Assassin. Let's see. I'll show you a video made for ILM. Or that one. I'll show you a video. Say, yeah. Oh, that way is. Tamim. 
I will take this video علشان ده الفيديو فيه الايديا اكتر Again, this is a macular hole surgery. I will go directly, 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 directly after staining of the membrane, after staining of the membrane, and the first attempt, first attempt of the ILM pinch, first attempt of the ILM pinch, like this. This is the first attempt. Stop, command speed, delete what behind. And the last attempt of the ILM, when I finish the ILM, like this. Now I'm finishing the ILM. Now I'm finishing the ILM. Finish, command P, remove what behind. This video is one minute, seven seconds. That's it, we finish. The ILM Billy, the ILM editing. And we can play it. See what's doing. If it's okay, if, if it's doing well, my hand is doing well, I just see one minute video. If you edit the video to one minute video, don't play with the speed. Don't re Cut this frame. One minute video is an ideal video. One minute video is an ideal video. And do with the, 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 the normal motion of, the, of your hand, the normal attack of your hand, if it's one minute, don't play again. And we edit this video. It take like two minutes, three minutes, just that because you are thinking about what's your target. It's totally different. If I'm taking this video and I need to teach how I'm doing the ILM, and you are thinking that you need to show me how you can insert the trucker, how you do a vitrack to me. It's this one hour surgery, just for one minute. That's it. This is a video of ILM peeling, temporal flap. We finish it, okay? When you are, this video, it's exported and take it in your mobile or take it in your folder for ILM temporal flap, just it. We are finished. When you are staying in the podium and you need to share with a session of temporal flab ILM, you need to shoot for the audience in the conference how you induct the posterior hyaloid. So you need that the station of uh, the step of induction of posterior hyaloid if you are invited for the course of retractomy from A to Z and you have dedicated for the step of posterior hyaloid det uh, detachment. So you need to show me the different way of how you induct the posterior hyaloid. So this is another way of editing. This is another view of editing. So it's totally different. Why you edit? You will finish the editing directly without any stop. If I edit the ILM from the start and from the end, and it's larger than one minute, two minutes, you need to recut this frame. And did you show me the successful pinch? You will show me the successful bench because your target is you show me the ILM peeling. When you show me the unsuccessful bench in the educational purpose, in the educational course, if you need invited for the educational course for the ILM or the, for the macular surgery, you need to show me all the different way for the editing or the different way, sorry, for the attacking the ILM and what you're struggling in the ILM remover, if it's successful all the time or not. And this is what I need to just to see you. It's totally different about the targeting of the editing. I'm finishing now, so it's good. So now we, we uh, capturing the video and make editing of the video. It's time to publish it on social media. And we have to know the rule of social media. The rule of social media and marketing your presentations or marketing your service. Uh, we are now in the era of social media. So uh, we have to understand the social media because social media is one of the weapons that can help you to reach for more people in order to share your service and to improve yourself. So I have no financial disclosure. Uh, 
خلينا نسال الاودينس الموجودين هنا دو ويتش وان اوف يو هاف ا سوشيال ميديا اكاونت اني بودي اوف يو هاف ا سوشيال ميديا اكاونت اول اوف اس هاف ا سوشيال ميديا اكاونت اف يو وونت تو باي اني ثينج دو يو وونت تو لوك ات فور اون لاين فيرست اي لوك فور ات اون لاين اف يو وونت تو بوك ان ميديكال ابوينتمنت دو يو يوزولي جو فور اون لاين بوكينج ثرو كولينج ذا دوكتورز اور ذا سكرتري يس وي كول ات يو نو ذيس جاي I hate this guy because they start to know me and know my number and every time they call me that we have some delivery for you uh, because my wife is always uh, asked to deliver anything from the delivery, okay? So just they call Dr. Muhammad, your uh, home is the Shara al Jazar, kada kada. So I start to hate myself because they know me and know my family and know the home. So we have to ask ourselves, are you a superstar doctor in the social media? Someone said your peak time in your career is limited, so reach more to serve more. We all know that we have a limited lifetime or the peak time is very short. So try to reach more in order to serve more. This is the platforms that we know in a social media. So many platforms now available, in, uh, so make this world is a very small and you can reach whatever you want. The structure is the idea, plan, and action. You know that in the last year, in the COVID, about half a billion users joined the social media in the last year, just in the last year. For example, Facebook now reach about 2.8 billion monthly active users. Yani, uh, you can imagine that 2.8 billion monthly uh, active users. YouTube advertising is about 2.2. Instagram is reaching for 1.3 billion. Yani, arqam kabira jiddan that you can reach through this platform. I am one of them that before I want to go to social media, I say I want to understand social media. But social media, it cannot understand it at all. It's like an ocean. You will never understand social media. Because if you think that you want to understand it, you will feel drowned. Nobody can understand all the social media platforms. So in my opinion, be focused on what you want. Like Mohammed Salah, he's a good soccer man but he is focusing on fishing a big fish. So, so you have to be focused on what you want to reach. I will try to help you in which, uh, in a quick matter, that's how can you build, a so, uh, be active social media doctors on the social media. First of all, the idea. The four golden rules, the four golden rules before you start, start with the one platform. Yeah, and you no need to have a Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, any and ever. No, start one one, focus with one to reduce the cost. Yeah, and the cost that you build the, the, the accounts, it's will reduce to one account. Then after that, you start over. So this is number one. Put strategy. Put for you a strategy. That's mean, say, I want to reach in this month like this. I want to do like this. Don't uh, let the features fool you. And don't let anybody uh, fool you with the matters that you have. So this is the strategy you have. Experiments. Always try to experiment. Experiment that, you know, uh, this time I will share this post. I will, like the, I will take like this. So you have to do experiment in every time that you build a post in a social media. And added for it a secret sauce. We don't need to be copy any, any other uh, active social media members or doctors and copy what he do. No, you have to have your own secret sauce that you, through it you will enjoy the result that you will take. So, many of us, when I ask my colleague, you have to build your page on Facebook, I say, they say to me, we don't have time. In the morning, we are in the hospitals. In the afternoon, we are in the clinic. We don't have time to be active in our social media. Plus, many of us, we don't uh, very good in technical support for uh, using the, uh, the laptops or mobile to induce a posting and uh, editing a video. No, you can do that. Still, you can do that. So you have to understand the three types of social media that we have. The social media, we have three types of social media. Group number one, the non-active or less active people. These people, like most of us, just do like, share, comment. They didn't post. They do like, share, and comment. So though these are the, the, the gainer. These are the audience of you. 
that's people hidden behind their computers or iPhones just do like, share, comment. They don't post. These are the al fi al mustahdafa These people, I want to take them. Or maybe you are a content creator. يعني أنت صاحب محتوى. أنت you are a content creator. Uh, these people, we see them effective on the platform. They make money. They make money and more followers than a brand. يعني واحدة مثل هيفاء حسوني عندها تسعة مليون uh, subscriber with her. Okay, better than any other brands available. So these are the content creator that you have, and they act as influencer. The brands, we know the brands. These brands are paying for the platform and the content creators in order to reach for the people. So, these three types of social media, the biggest gainer is the platform who gain from all these three types of users. This is the best thing that you want if you can reach to all these three types. The best one, if you can be a content creator and supported by a brand. So these two, so you are influence and sell. This is the most important target of you you want to reach. For a plan, the four golden rules to plan. Number one, focus on your favorite and niche. What's meaning in your posts in the platform, focus on number one, I called it bread and butter. This is for all people as a general ophthalmologist. This is for the outpatients that you have. Then, create a post for the favorite things that the people they want, like in a cataract surgery and LASIK. Start to make more posts for these two things because this is the favorite from people. The niche, that's mean the sub-speciality of you. This is to show you that you have an extra ability to do something than other doctors. So uh, uh, start to publish uh, videos about the complicated cases that you do. So other colleagues from you, when you, they show that you have this ability, they start to think that I can refer for you in other cases. So this is the most important things. Number two, try to reach to the people through their languages. Yani it's, it's impossible to talk with these old women in a different levels or in the, in the same way that I talk with other people which are educated. So I, you have to try to uh, don't battle with their minds when their hearts with a cause. Try to understand or teach them that the problem that you have some degree of cataract, which is a normal aging process, try to talk with her with her own language. And you have to be focused, uh, be, uh, be a cause based on marketing. This is the most important issue. And don't uh, forget to address the audience in that mindset. That means try to make some videos that reach the people quickly, short videos to reach the people quickly. That means, like this guy on the YouTube, he just makes some videos on about the uh, contact lenses, the advantage of contact lenses, what are the error of contact lenses, how can I take care of my eye in contact lenses. That's what the people, they want to hear about it. This one, I will show you uh, a blueprint for a social, like a, like a plan. If you are a practicing ophthalmologist, so whether can you are a, a beginners or experience, or you have your own eye clinic, or you are a single specialty eye hospital, what a plan that you have to know or to build in your social media platform? For example, now you are practicing in a hospitals, whether you are experienced or beginners, you can use only your profile accounts. You can create a awareness video and just stick it in your social media. Uh, you can share your media through the main hospitals, okay? And you have to be active on LinkedIn. So if you are a practicing ophthalmologist, what you need at least to have four posts per month on Facebook or on Instagram. You have to be four social post videos on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube. Once a week, you can go for LinkedIn and try to be live, go live on the social platform like Facebook and Instagram at least one time every three months. This one will help you put a strategy to what to do on the social media. Now, if you have an eye clinic, you have big eye clinic, you can use the page of the eye clinic, okay? And in the eye clinic, you can create awareness video about uh, sharing your personal branding and the clinic branding. So the secret sauce to have an eye clinic, what's with the recommended one, 
you have to uh, share social posts, two to three per week on Facebook, Instagram, and uh, YouTube. You have to share social post videos, one video per week for, through the uh, Facebook, Instagram, and to be live at least one per month. This will ensure for you a better reach to the populations. Again, now you have a single specialty eye hospitals. You have an eye hospital with a single specialty. The, the ophthalmology is the main uh, service that are provided there. Here also you can have your uh, organization's page, the accounts. Here you can create awareness video, personal branding, hospital branding you can share for that. So in this, in this types, we see that you have to be more active on the uh, social media. You have to share more videos. You have to be more live on, sh on social media. Uh, finally, we reach to the actions. Now I have the idea. I want to build myself on a social media. Then I put a plan. It's time for actions. The four golden rules before you go for actions, you have to understand what tools are you going to use? Do you have a content calendar? As we said, we are busy. We don't have time. You have to put a content calendar. So let's go one by one. What tools are you going to use? Which platform that you will use? The platform that we have, it's all known. It's Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and YouTube. Choose one and start with it. Or you can mix Facebook and Instagram so you can share on both of one, which will be reached on the other one. Number two, how can I design my post? It's very difficult. I have to hire an agency. I have to hire someone to design for me. No, it's very easy. There is an application called Canva. This is a free application. So you can download it from App Store. Through this Canva, you can design posts. You can design video very easily, free of charge, and you can uh, even uh, reach uh, through this uh, application is very much. Or you can, even you have the simple video editor like Mohammed that he have used on iMovie. So design and video editing. Number two, scheduling. This is a very important. Put for you a schedule. For example, for me, what I do on my holiday on Friday, I decide to share this week three posts. I make the posts. I write the information and the caption. Then I schedule them on Facebook and Instagram to be published on this day and this day and this day. So this is, I finish the job for this week. I have my three posts will, three posts will be published through the social media. Through just I spend only half an hour. So this is the work of one week. So you have to uh, be scheduling. This is the secret one. How to create a content very easily, just in uh, two hours. Spend two hours in a month. Okay, that should be enough. You can create five minutes video and you can also uh, take so many posts. Go to Canva to create image posts, schedule and relax, and check when you can or doing a specific, a specific schedule. That means now you schedule your post. The post will be automatically shared on the platform, on the social media or Facebook. Whenever you have time, of course we have a time for using our phones, go to this post and check the, uh, the, 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 the connection of the people, so what the people ask, what the people want, check the result, everything. Uh, put for you 10 minutes or half an hour in a day for checking the post. This is a very important. The content calendar, uh, you should have a content calendar. That means in this month you will have a content calendar. You will say that in this month I will share 10 posts, I will talk about this one and this one and this one. So you have a, a schedule yourself about content calendar. You can use these things, this, uh, you, you can prepare your content calendar according to the theme. For example, now we are in the World Side Day, it's in the 9th of October. Okay, you can check about diabetic eye disease awareness, you can use it in November. So you can build up your content calendar according to the uh, occasion that you have, so it's very nice and will remember you. Another way, another type of content search, you, know, you use what people searching for through the social media, and you can make a post on that. I will explain to you. This is the one thing. Just go for Google and write cataract surgery. Then go on the news, and you will see what people asking for in the social media. So you can make 
a awareness video or you can make, uh, make a post about what people asking for. This is type one. Type two, just search, write cataracts, and you will see what's about the people uh, searching through Google's in the last time. About, I just write cataract, they see people ask about cataract awareness month, cataract surgery, cataract meaning, cataract surgery cost, okay? So all these things are uh, people ask for, so you can reach for them. The other things also you can go for down in the, in the Google, you have a people ask, also ask, you can use these questions to create a, create a post or create a content. Even we can use a YouTube in order to search about what people searching for. Uh, this is the calendar format that you have uh, uh, and put it for yourself. For example, that's I schedule in, in Facebook, I, that my theme is a cataract awareness month. I will say in this month I will start to prescribe like this one, I will post like this one. So the most important thing is to build your calendar in order to reaching and start not to be confused and start to feel boring from using the social media. Who will do that? The, the best things that you have to die, do it yourself, that you have to do it by yourself. After that, you can, when you have a big page, or you will be uh, so many uh, people contacting with you, you can train a member in your organizations to help you in managing the page. After that, you can hire uh, freelancers, you can hire an agency, everything is applicable, but the best thing is you have to do it by yourself. The, don't forget to check for the analytic. Every time, go for a customer review and check what are they saying about you. Sometimes you will feel uh, that uh, good post they review for you. Sometimes they feel that's the very bad things. No, just enjoy and take what people are talking about you. And of course, measure the results of this uh, using the social media by the phone calls, check your phone calls through the clinic. It's improving or no, it's increasing or no. Just check for the website in inquiry form. That's the, uh, the people go engage for your websites and make sure about chat, the people start to ask and start to ask about the scheduling of cataract surgery, about the times of doing cataract surgery. So this is a very important. For me, I think uh, when you are going to use Facebook, the best thing to reach people through Facebook, go for Facebook Live, go for Facebook Stories, Facebook Ads, and Facebook Marketplace. This is how can you, you uh, using Facebook to the maximum. However, on Instagram, Instagram, the reach of Instagram is better than Facebook. So many people try now, nowadays, they don't want to read, they want to just see. So the reach of uh, Instagram is much more better. Go for Insta stories and reels and ads. For LinkedIn, this is a professional platform. So the content reach is a very good and it's a targeted. When, uh, if you are a professional ophthalmologist, you want to hire a job or you want to make an, a CV, go for LinkedIn, okay? For the YouTube, YouTube is an educational platform. This, you can use the YouTube for educations, for the doctor, doctor relationships, okay? So in this, in, this, in this purpose, you can use the YouTube to share your video for teaching, for learning, for conference zone, as in the YouTube. Again, my final talk is your peak time in your career is limited. So reach more to serve more. Thank you very much. توفيق حتقول حاجة؟ بيرسونال براندنج شوية ها؟ قول لنا كلمتين بيرسونال براندنج تعال بس. So uh, in social media of course you know uh, محمد توفيق is the father of social media. So he will give us uh, some secret sources or some secret tips and tricks in using social media for a personal branding. How to be uh, use the social media for a personal branding.
Can I ask a question for the audience on the floor? What is the difference between personal branding and business branding? If anyone on the floor have the answer of these questions, what is the difference between personal branding and business branding? If you are a doctor and you have your own business, you have your own hospital, you have your own center, or if you are a doctor and you are working in a big hospital, what you are doing for your hospital, it's a business brand. What you are doing for yourself, it's a personal brand. And the personal brand by far is a powerful than the business brand. Personal brand for yourself is powerful than business brand. This is a totally different. So it's a branding, it's totally different than marketing. If you are brand yourself, it's totally different than you are marketing your place. Branding is much more powerful than marketing. And the branding is why. Marketing is how. Branding is a long-term job. Marketing is a short term. If you brand, you brand a lot. Yeah, it's a big issue. It's a macro. Marketing is a micro job. It just start and end. Brand is a macro. Branding is a defined strategy, trajectory, trajectory. Marketing is defined defense tactics. Branding is build loyalty, and marketing is build response. If you brand, you create the value. If you mark, you extract the value. If you brand, the branding is the being, and marketing is doing. So, if you decide to brand, you need to think by this way. By the way, everyone have its own personal brand. You have a brand on your sister. You have a brand, personal brand in your community. You have a personal brand in your family. Everyone have its own personal brand. No one without personal brand. Everyone have its own personal brand. But you need to uh, build up or um, increase or uh, spread your personal brand. When you see these two logo, what's your thinking? First thinking when you see these two logo, the right one for what? The right one for Apple, the left one for? Tesla. Do you, do you think when you see this logo that you are said the right one is Steve Jobs? No. If you are see the left logo, you said this the left one is Elon Musk? No. You just said this Tesla and this Apple. This is called business brand. OK? This is called business brand. But when I see this image, you can see Steve Jobs of Apple. You can see Elon Musk of Tesla. OK? So this is a personal brand of both of them related to the business brand. But if Steve Jobs go for the other company, he's still Steve Jobs. If the Elon Musk go with the other company, he's still Elon Musk. So the business brand and the personal brand, it's a totally different, but they can play together and they can support each other, OK? When you see this two logo, this is a hospital called Maghrabi. You know it. It's a famous hospital in the Middle East and all over the world. And this is the Saudi German hospital. It's also a famous hospital in the Middle East and all over the world. But you can nominate a number of doctors who is working in or uh, in this hospital. They will just say it's a Maghrabi and it's a German hospital. It's a business brand. But what you are facing when you are working in a business brand hospital, a big business brand hospital, we don't concentrate on our personal brand. So try to work on your personal brand because you, at one time you need to shift from another, from business brand to another business brand. So build up your personal brand independently on the side of business brand you are working because at that time you will need your personal brand to support you and to marketing you, okay? So what is the benefit of personal brand? The benefit of personal brand is a high paying work opportunity and a higher price for your product. The business brand of yourself, he is doing, if you are working, doing a personal brand perfect, you can get this point. Number two, an instant recognition tool to open previously closed door. 
if you are working in Maghrabi Eye Hospital and you are have, don't have a personal brand, and you will not open this door, by the way. Not just you are working in the, in the Maghrabi Hospital, it can open. Number three, chance to network with a list influencer and top CEOs to rapidly advance your career. Realizations of a self-actualization goals by having your name recognized by entire industry. Is that what I'm going to see job of Apple, Elon Musk of Tesla. So we need to call Dr. X of X. So it's you are related to your business brand, perfect business brand. Number five, opportunity to get speaking engagement at the conferences and commitment uh, summits. What I'm doing now, because I have a personal brand, not because I'm working in a big hospital, a big business brand. So your personal brand, can you give you this a chance? Number six, increase productivity at work due to apparent impact it has on the industry. This is true. The personal brand play in your work like that the business brand doing for you. If you are working in a big hospital and you are thinking that the only marketing that the business brand doing is this the only way for your work, it's not true. If you are playing a personal brand, you will impact on your job. Additional positive impact on your overall personality because you are thinking on every step that you are doing. You are thinking in every way that you are going. You are, uh, you are thinking in every breath you are uh, entering inside your body. Getting your dream job become more easier. So what's your personal brand? This is the, the, the traditional definition of the personal brand. The personal brand is how the people see you and how they would describe you similar to how people describe a famous people or companies. It is the set of value and characteristics that describe who you are and guide your choice in work and in life. Your personal brand is what makes you. And this other you is true, you. Thinking of the personal brand is you, not other thing. The personal brand is you. What you are need to be is a personal brand. What you are need the people thinking about you when your name is appear in the discussion, this is the personal brand. Personal brand is you. Being aware of and ultimately in control of and your, in your personal brand is a creature component of building a successful career. In 2020 and 2030 and in the future, the personal brands, a successful personal brand will play a major role in your career. Don't be covered with your business brand and believe that you are in a safe zone. This is what we are called the comfort zone because you are working inside the big hospital, you are working inside the big industry. This is what we are called comfort zone. And don't be stuck in this comfort zone. Play a personal brand because this is a successful career in the future. I will give you 10 tips to how to build up your personal brand. Define your brand. Take a paper and write as two or three lines and say to you, Write down the word and values that the people would use to describe you. My name is Muhammad Tawfi, and I need this thanks to the people thinking of me when my name is appear in a discussion. So I need when the people uh, uh, say my name uh, that I am a veterinary surgeon. I need that the people when I saying my name that I am a good father. So play on this one. I need to thinking that when the people saying my name, that I am very funny man. The, I, everything set your goals. What the people need to thinking about you when your name is appear in a discussion, and this is your focus. This is your focus. Without this first step, you will play like this. Every single point you do it. Every single post you post it. Every single image you see it. You have. You don't have a. A target, you don't have a target. Have a speciality, have a speciality.
Don't thinking that if you need to play a personal brand and the people thinking about you that you are a formologist, you will not success. Okay? You have are a thumb, you you are a thumb of solomologist, you will not success. You need to have a subspeciality or speciality. Companies call this point of differentiation. Consider how your brand in this case is different, you is different from everyone else on the market. Why the people thinking about you and you don't think about the other? It's a differentiation, it's a speciality. So when I starting you my personal brand, I am not I'm just an ophthalmologist, search for speciality to go through your personal brand faster. Write your bio. Write a short bio or update the one you have so you have it ready. Bio, it's a biography of you and all all platforms in the CV, in the business card, in the website, in the YouTube channel, and everything. Update your biography and don't stuck on what, uh, what's uh, the benefit of just I am now moving for a new hospital, that I'm now working a new job to update it, update it every now and then. Start with your personal website. This is the first step. What is the benefit of your personal website? Personal website, personal website, not the business center of you. The personal website that the people write, Dr. Muhammad Tawfi on a Google, in a Google, it will appear your personal website. So make it your personal website. It appear in the search of the Google and make it by your name. If you are succeed to see www.drmohammedtaufi.com, it's perfect. So take the URL with your name. This is a first step. Use a professional network site. When you are thinking in a personal brand in the bus, it's difficult because we are not like now an open network. Now when you are stay, stay in India and we are in Egypt, you can be closely connecting together just by branding in a social media. This is a two different type of social media. First, we are saying that, saying that you need to build up your personal website. And then you need to thinking in a professional website. What is the most powerful professional website nowadays? It's a LinkedIn, okay? If you are, until now, you didn't know about LinkedIn, you are far away from your personal brand. LinkedIn is the perfect first professional network. Because the LinkedIn allow you to put your accomplishment out there for the world and the future employer, partner, and the connection to see. Also, if you set a, a profile, it will one of the first things that the people will see when they search for you online. So it's another easy way to exercise control over the digital person, persona. What's you doing LinkedIn? You, you, you're searching for a new veteran retinal surgery as a recruiter, and you need a veteran retinal surgeon from the Middle East. One of your friends said to you, I know the doctor called Muhammad Taufi. So what's the first thing you did it? You opened the LinkedIn as a professional way you open the LinkedIn. If you see Muhammad Taufi in a LinkedIn in a professional way, it will give you a branding different than if you are not appearing in LinkedIn. Take an effort and play a much more work and effort in LinkedIn. Every single minute you stay in LinkedIn, it's a precious minute. Every single minute you stay in the LinkedIn, it's a precious minute. Believe me, I have just now five years on the LinkedIn, and it's a totally different for me as a personal brand. The LinkedIn, it's a lot of stuff in the LinkedIn, and we can stay for one hour to give you all the secrets of LinkedIn. But try to help yourself to search for the secret. Stay as much as you can in the LinkedIn, even if you are a small, person and you are not just in your first career, start with LinkedIn. Build your communication skills. What's meaning? Whether you are outgoing, it's important to be able to communicate well, particularly about yourself as you build your brand. We are now 
we are now outgoing. We are different countries from a different place. Try to adapt yourself to build up your communication skills. Go with the people that you are knowing, make a communication, build up the a new people, build up your network, try to adapt yourself to tell the people who you are, expand your network. This is will help you in the personal brand. This is the important step as a social media. What you are doing in the personal website, what you are doing in the LinkedIn is not a social platform. It's a professional platform. Now, when I'm talking about the social media, it's a social platform. In the past, the, this social media is being doing like you post something and I take like or love or we just knowing each other. If you need to play a personal brand and until now your account on social media is private, you are not playing a personal brand, okay? If you are need to play a personal brand and your account in the social media is private, you are not playing a personal brand perfect. So the social media, it's a major way to brand yourself, make it public. What is the type of social media? It's first YouTube. Your YouTube channel is talking a lot of you, about you. YouTube channel is a crucial channel. You can use it by do a lot of different way. If you are good at speaking and if you have a knowledge, you can stay in front of the camera and talk with your patients and talk with your people and give a knowledge. If you have a good surgical videos, you can post it in the YouTube channels. So make it like your channel that the people who when you need to see you, you search you on your YouTube channel. YouTube channel is an educational website or educational platform that the people need to know more information about a topic. So if I need to search about the injection, and I need to put in the YouTube, what is the type of injection? And in Arabic, Anna, I will say, al dakhil al If you uh, 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 put al dakhil al or the injection, we will see that the Dr. Muhammad Tawfi appear in the video with a higher viewer rate. So the Dr. Muhammad Tawfi is one of the brand that talking about this type of disease. So I can see him in the YouTube. The video is 10 minutes. 15 minutes, 13 minutes, one hour, that isn't different. This is educational social platform. The second one is the Instagram. I didn't post the Facebook before the Instagram because nowadays the Instagram is much more important than the Facebook. Why? Because the Instagram is a standard all over the world now. I know that in the different countries that the Facebook is much higher user than the Instagram. And in the different countries, the Snapchat is much higher than the uh, Facebook one. But the Instagram is the stable in all the uh, countries. So if you're starting now to play a social media, be focused on Instagram. Build up your profile in Instagram. When you open my profile in Instagram and you don't know, know me, you just take five minutes and you will know all thing about me. You will know that I'm a veteran retinal surgeon. You will know where I'm working. You will know what I'm doing socially, lifestyle, vid uh, videos, what I'm doing. You will know that I am a veteran retinal surgeon. You will know all thing about me. Just take five minutes and you will know everything about me. And also the TikTok. You think me about that this is platform is not important in personal brand. And believe me, after three to four, maximum five years from now, you will be the first platform that you will use it for your brand. TikTok is the most growing social platform nowadays. But the most difficulty in the TikTok is that you need to do a videos. If you are not compatible and are not comfortable for the video, so we were not able to engage with this platform. So you need a camera, you need mobile, you need to be speaking on, the, on front of camera. 
So if you are not a, a, a man that you are comfortable to go with the videos, this platform is not perfect for you. But believe me, if you are this man, try to be this man. Because in the future, this is the most important way to communicate. This is the most important way to brand. It's just to be in front of your camera. And this is not needing, you don't need a professional camera, by the way, it's just your mobile camera. You have a session, right, surgical retina start. This is all this your uh, print. This is uh, the last thing. Say no. This is important in your brand. Say no. Now that you have your personal brand in place, protect it and say no to the opportunities, to the projects, to the freelance work or social media posts that are not aligned with your brand. When you are so reach a level of the personal brand and you just m hold your mobile thinking for the new post before clicking on the post thinking a lot of what you are writing thinking a lot of what you are decided to reposting because this is your brand and you need to say no of what you are not suitable what is not suitable for you and thank you thank you very much for this nice presentation about personal branding. We have to conclude the sessions and see you in Thank you. Thank see you, you again.